Hi everyone, welcome to vlog number seven. That's right, that looks like loser. Okay, but you know what I mean, seven is lucky number, right? Well, today I'll be talking a little bit about scanner software, kind of how you use it, as well as an update on YouTube partner status and uh, AdSense, just a little bit about it so you know. And of course, there's question and answer, so let's get started. So initially I thought that in order to make YouTube partner, meaning like you can monetize your videos and all that good stuff, you had to have 10,000 subscribers, but that is not the case. I think average is 1,000 subscribers and five to 10,000 views, I'm not sure about that, but um, if you get just one of your videos successfully monetized, because when you click the monetize button, it has to be approved first. So if that gets approved, you become a YouTube partner and you can definitely check that, check that out on your dashboard under like the status and stuff like that. Um, and of course, you want to get paid, right? After you put those ads up and stuff like that, people click, click, click. I believe each click is like a, a few cents. You get a few cents if someone clicks into it or something like that. Um, and AdSense is basically, you know, when you put up the ads, the ads pay you. So make sure you have an AdSense account that you have linked to your YouTube account so you can start like getting the paychecks. Um, and there's a threshold. I believe the lowest is $100 and then they pay you. Alrighty, so that's um, enough about that. I'll show you a little bit about scanner software. Here's a very useful piece of software actually. It's just called scanner. This is where you can download it over here. So here's a look at the scanner software and what I love about it, it helps you know exactly how much space is being taken up on your drive and how much space you have free. Now if you look on the upper left hand corner in this area, you'll see that in this empty space you have free on the E drive, which is my 1.5 terabyte drive, 760 gigabytes. And then in this section, I've used up 637 gigabytes and that's 181,989 files. That is really, really detailed. And if you go down the rings here, these are individual folders, by the way, that are in your drives. So this ring here is the Joanne Tech Lover folder. And then we're gonna go in into here. It's a Joanne Tech Lover ASUS folder and you can right click by the way to remove or open it up. So we're going to open that folder up and basically the audio for the uh, G600, oh, I'm sorry, for the monitor as well as some pictures and Premiere and video. There's also, let's say, the K70 keyboard. So let's open up that file and boom, there you have it. Uh, it just breaks it down so well. I mean, for those of you who are very like OCD and who just like to be very, very organized like I do for a lot of things, you'll know what I mean. And here are your media, iTunes files, the program x86, what else, World of Warcraft. That's, that's a red stands for I love it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, um, but I do love it. And also other, files as well. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at C. So this is my 120 gig SSD, by the way. So 119 total, free chunk right here, 16.2 gigabytes. And I have a file on here that says erase me, just some uh, video files that we've uh, taken on the camera. So we're going to go ahead and right click, open up. You could go ahead and uh, delete it straight from here. Or I believe you can go ahead and just remove this erase me. It says, are you sure you want to permanently delete this folder? Yes, I do. So now let's load C again. And then, well, look at that. We have 24 gigs of free space once more. And by the way, on your boot drive SSD, probably be sure to have at least 20 gigs of storage free so that it'll run properly. Believe me. Alrighty, so that's a quick tutorial on how to use scanner software and how to read everything. So hopefully you found it uh, helpful and that's it. I decided to include something kind of interesting because Joe and I kind of go on these food adventures after we make our first two videos and then we go eat like a ton of food which gives us food coma and then we do this vlog. <laughs> so today we went to President Thai. For those of you who love Thai food, that place is great. By the way, it's on Rosemead right next to the Italian place Nikki C's. We went there last week for like these great tacos. But I know ta tacos at an Italian restaurant, but anyway. <laughs> and by the way, President Thai is located in California. So I don't know if there are any in other states or whatnot, but the one I'm talking about is in the um, LA County area, San Gabriel Valley sort of. So President Thai, they have this really good barbecue beef platter with like a side of rice. Also, I got the uh, beef with beef balls soup. 
Yes, that is the name. <laughs> um, that one wasn't quite as good as the barbecue beef, but it was decent. And we also got a side of egg rolls. Yes, we can eat. We are like, I don't know, um, my friends used to call me the, uh, what is it, uh, bottomless pit. <laughs> But yes, there's the food adventure, and then you'll get to see some photos too, so winning. All right, it's time for Q&A. And if you've noticed, every single vlog, I kind of do something different with my hair. This time I curled it and kind of like did a little pin-up thing, and just let me know what you think. I don't know, I'm not very good at this girl stuff. <laughs> I mean, I play games all day long, but anyway, just thought like, you know, just something interesting and something different every video. But moving right along to Q&A. So first question is by Music Haven 2012. This person asks, I mean says, hey there Joanne, new subscriber here. Thank you, welcome to Joanne Tech Lover. Mwah. Love all the newbies and the old bees. And what else? Just wanna ask for Q&A, do you have a favorite genre of music, be it modern, classical, even video game or anime music? Well, back in high school when um, I was really into anime, I mean, I literally, like, my mom would drive me to, like, an anime shop on this Colorado and I would buy all of these anime DVDs. Like, literally, she would give me, like, I don't know, New Year's, Eve, New Year's money or birthday money and then i just drop it all on anime. <laughs> this was, like, before I downloaded anything. And yes, I love the opening, ending sequences for all these animes and just maybe that's probably why I'm so weird <laughs> I just grew up you know like with these funky anime expressions so I'm so super animated um, so yes I did like that at one point but classical music I usually try to listen to that when my mom is in the car just to like be like oh look mom I'm considering what you want I'm gonna listen to classical so that's what I do and but I do enjoy it from time to time like um, for example because I used to play the piano for like six years before I quit when I was little, so I do enjoy music of the classical sort. And also video game music. Yeah, you know Final Fantasy takes me way, 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 way back. Like all the battle music, as soon as I hear it, it doesn't matter who's playing it, where it's playing, I'm just like, oh, so nostalgic. Like I just feel like I'm just there in my little cramped up room, sitting close to the TV and just playing for like 10 hours straight. <laughs> Um, and also what other types of music, but the types of music I listen to these days, like mostly in the car or Pandora, I like to listen to like uh, K-Rock, I listen to um, Amp, I listen to um, uh, like alternative stuff, some Kiss, very little Kiss, um, what else, and Coast sometimes, because you know, I really love the oldies by Coast, like uh, Sergio Mendes, you know, I'm never gonna let you go, God, that Okay, <laughs> I know it's really, really lame, but I really like the oldies. I grew up listening to it because my mom would force me to listen to it in the car every single ride to school and back and everywhere. <laughs> but the oldies are very good. Bon Jovi, Elton John, I mean, uh, Phil Collins. Well, he's not that old, but I really do like his Tarzan track. Anyway, so I listen to basically all a huge range of music and except for country. I'm not all that in into country or heavy metal, but like, it, I mean, I don't hate it, it's just not my thing. Alrighty, that uh, was a very, very long answer. The next question is by Coalispex. 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 I don't know. <laughs> I tried. Anyway, so Joanne Tech Lover, my question for your next vlog is what last book did you read? Did you enjoy it? Yeah, honestly, I don't remember. I don't think I've read a book in ages because most of the reading I do are online articles, generally about tech or about just world news and uh, about gaming news, you know. I, I read a lot, but not like books, just articles, just tons of articles like every week just to really just stay in it and it's really fascinating too. Like science, tech, like for example, um, you know, all of the 3D printing madness out there creating limbs and 3D printing pen that can draw in the air. It's just cool stuff like that. I just really like uh, learning about tech and uh, stuff like that. So um, last question by C Timothy Creed. This is a good one by the way. How are channels like yours able to convince tech companies to send you stuff to review and or give away? I I would love to one day do the same far into the future. Well, I had the um, you know privilege of working for a company where I was able to collect these contacts before I, I left because when you work for a tech industry, you go to tech um, events like CES, E3, PAX, um, you know BlizzCon. Well, not all of you, but you will be able to go. And when you go, you just just 
talk to everybody, get their business card, follow up with an email, but don't be annoying. Just, just be like, hey, you know, nice meeting you. If, you know, talk to you again sometimes, and um, that's what you got to do. So go to events. I am sure you will see people at booths like Intel booth, Cooler Master booth, Corsair booth. Like just go up to them, talk to them about the products, ask them, uh, just directly just ask them, hey, what do you think about sending me something from my channel? Because hey, look, I have X amount of subscribers or look, uh, you know, my fans are really enjoying the content. That's how I do it. So um, yeah, it's really just ask. <laughs> and uh, get to know the people. Every time you go somewhere, meet people, talk to them, ask them what they do, and just be very you know, social and interactive. And yeah, that's the, that's the best I can say to you. <laughs> and eventually when you get bigger, other companies will reach out to you. So that's what's been happening to my channel. I have a couple companies reaching out to me. So, uh, thank you very much, by the way, who wanna do collaborative work with me, send me product, do a video, kind of like that. Alrighty, um, that concludes the Q&A. Hopefully you found this um, you know, interesting, informative, a little bit funny, whatever it is, I try to bring it all. <laughs> and um, I hope to see you again. For those of you who keep coming back to see my videos, I really do appreciate it. As well as the new subscribers, it's wonderful to see this channel growing. It's like you're nurturing a little plant, you know what I mean? And then like you just water it every now and then, it just grows into this big ass tree. Um, alrighty, uh, that concludes it. If you like what you saw, you want to see more, please hit the subscribe, like, and comment button. Please comment as I do love to hear what you have to say or see what you have to say and love interacting with you guys. Um, also, be sure to um, follow me on social media. Joanne Tech Lover uh, fa Facebook fan page, Joanne Food Lover Twitter, and twitch.tv slash whaletune for game streaming with Tim um, weekly. And one last thing, please, uh, if you can, help donate or just donate because it'll help expand this channel as well as feed this techie so I can keep giving you food photos. <laughs> All right, donate button is on the uh, right side of the channel art on the homepage. Alrighty, I guess all that's left to say is mwah, love you much.